When we say Antarctica, most of you may think frozen mass of ice and rock. You wouldn't be wrong, but there is a lot to this continent that's shrouded in mystery. In fact, for more than two centuries, explorers and scientists have risked their lives in countless expeditions to seek out the seventh continent's deepest secrets. Let's talk about ten of the most mysterious ones out there. The Almost Nazi Base One of the controversial theories connected to Antarctica is that during the time of the Nazis, Germans built a base station there so they could fly to the moon from it. There's also been rumors that Hitler didn't actually commit suicide at the end of World War II, and actually fled to Antarctica on submarines. Now, of course, both are false. Hitler, however, was known to have a fascination for mysterious things, which is why he conducted expeditions to different locales of interest. Antarctica was naturally on the list, and Hitler had indeed ordered a secret expedition to explore the continent in 1936. However, the reason was a little funny. The Germans were to go whale hunting to bolster their nation's stocks of their favorite margarine. It was a few years before the war and Hitler had already begun to strengthen Germany's military and the national economy. One of the initiatives involved finding substitutes for domestic items with high demand, which were currently imported from other countries. Germans ate a lot of margarine, which at the time used whale oil as its chief ingredient. This product was previously sourced from Norway, and in an attempt to reduce dependency during wartime, they decided to produce whale oil on their own. Germany's war factories began building whaling ships to support this effort. Sadly though, by this time, the waters around the country had been stripped clean from decades of commercial whaling, so the German Foreign Office presented an idea to explore unclaimed territory in Antarctica. Since this operation would be far from the homeland, a plan to establish a base on the unexplored continent also began to take shape. The expedition began in December of 1938 under the helm of Captain Alfred Richter. He and a crew of 82 scientists and soldiers sailed on a converted whaling ship called the Schwabenland, which also housed two flying boats. As required by the Nazi regime, an SS officer was on board for the expedition. Being the literal Nazi that he was, he forced the entire crew to listen to radio broadcasts of Hitler's wartime speeches for as long as the signal held out. A month later, the ship reached the Antarctic coastline and the flying boats began surveying the continent for scientific research, and also to find a suitable spot for the Nazi base. Disaster did strike one of the planes though, which was low on fuel and was forced to ditch extra gear on board, including boxes of tiny metal swastikas. These paraphernalia remain the only Nazi property on Antarctica, though they have never been spotted by explorers. None of the ships, planes, nor the crew were able to set foot on the continent. Nevertheless, the boat did manage to collect a ton of useful scientific and map data, but its value was not known to the public due to the secrecy of the Nazi commissioned expedition. Rumors about this journey eventually led to the myths and conspiracies about Antarctica that continue to persist today. Blood Falls Can you imagine seeing a stream gushing with bloody red liquid against a backdrop of pure white? Pretty eerie, am I right? Well, back in 1911, Australian geologist Griffith Taylor discovered this horrific-looking waterfall pouring into a lake. This perplexing oddity both intrigued and puzzled scientists for decades, and it took a full century before the mystery was solved. Named for its deep crimson hue, Blood Falls is located in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys. The falls originate from Taylor Glacier, named after the same geologist, and pour five stories down into Lake Bonnie. Taylor and his team speculated that the source of the water's red stain was microscopic red algae. This was a common cause in other waters from around the world. However, a 2017 study in the Journal of Glaciology overturned this hypothesis thanks to the use of new tech. A type of radar similar to echolocation was used to scan the glacier to find out how the water flowed beneath it. The resulting image showed a network of rivers leading to a salty lake devoid of light and air. All of this was about 400 meters underneath the glacier. This lake was trapped under the ice for more than a million years, yet it did not freeze due to a mix of conditions never before seen in the world. When water freezes, small amounts of heat are released. This, combined with extreme saltiness, high iron content, and metabolic activity by microorganisms allow the ancient lake to continue to feed the glacier above through fissures in the ice. The iron-rich brine oxidizes and rusts when it touches the air above, causing it to gush forth like blood from the top of the glacier. The incredible self-sustaining water system beneath the glacier is going to ensure that the waterfall will continue to spill more blood in years to come. Life in Underground Lakes Over millions of years, thick amounts of ice have formed in Antarctica, which makes it hard for most of us to imagine what could be underneath it. Despite this, though, many things have already been discovered by scientists, and some of them are underground lakes. 
Thanks to echo sounding, which is the same radar technology used to locate aircrafts, there's been a finding of around 400 lakes underneath the continent's ice. These lakes are believed to have formed during the separation of Antarctica from the supercontinent Gondwanaland. In the 1990s, Russian scientists discovered Lake Vostok, which is the largest subglacial lake found in the continent and the third largest by volume in the entire world. After drilling deep holes, scientists were able to get a sample of water which was around negative 3 degrees Celsius despite being covered in ice for so long. More recently, in 2014, scientists came through a major breakthrough when they discovered an active ecosystem of microorganisms in Lake Willans. Thousands of species were found in the depths of the lake, situated nearly 2,700 feet below the icy surface. Using a combo of hot water drills, disinfectants, and UV technology, samples of sediment and water without contamination were able to be extracted from within. They actually discovered nearly 4,000 microorganisms in the water, and almost 2,500 in the sediment. These unique organisms haven't been exposed to fresh air and sunlight, but they were reportedly able to flourish due to methane gases and ammonium that sustained their existence. This may also have major implications on the quest to find life outside our planet. Several moons of the gas giant planets Jupiter and Saturn are believed to have icy crust sitting on top of liquid oceans, which means they could very well be breeding grounds for living things. Antarctic Oil Russia's Rose Geologia has been conducting seismic surveys and other indirect exploratory work since the 1970s, and their findings indicate that there exists the equivalent of 513 billion barrels of oil and gas in the continent. However, there are currently no actual explorations and drillings taking place due to a couple of reasons. The 1959 Antarctic Treaty deems the continent a demilitarized zone to be preserved for scientific research. This forbids the establishment of military bases, the testing of conventional and nuclear weapons, or the disposal of radioactive waste. A protocol to the 1959 treaty was signed in 1991 and it provides a far more comprehensive protection of the Antarctic environment. The Environment Protection Protocol, also known as the Madrid Protocol, prohibits all activities relating to the Antarctic's mineral resources, except for purposes of scientific research. This includes oil, gas, coal, and other minerals. A total of 47 entities, including China, Russia, and the US, are signatories to this amended treaty, which all but ensures the prevention of current superpowers from exploiting the continent's resources. The protocol is said to be open for review in the year 2048 by any of the signatories. This could very well mean that Antarctica may lose its protection from the exploitation of its natural resources in a couple of decades' time. Fortunately, there are still no plans to reverse this collective decision, especially since the extraction of oil has become even more dangerous and expensive. But given the rising prices of oil due to shortages, sanctions, and global conflicts, let's continue to hope that no one tries to change that. Supermassive Ice Hole Sinkholes open up in the ground all the time, but Antarctica takes the cake with its massive polynas. In particular, the Maud Rise polyna that opened up in September of 2017 initially measured 10,000 square miles before expanding eight times its original size. Polynas have been reported since the 70s, but this enormous hole was said to be the biggest in 40 years. The Maud Rise polyna was first detected in mid-September in the Weddell Sea. By October, it expanded to 80,300 square kilometers, almost as big as Ireland, before melting and merging with the Antarctic seas later that summer. Researchers the world over took notice due to the sheer magnitude of this particular anomaly. What caused these giant ice holes was previously a mystery, but the number of studies that followed finally provided an answer. Through satellite imagery, it was determined that strong cyclones caused modified weather patterns around the continent. Ice masses will follow the wind and break off from the coast in doing so, forming an exposed mass of seawater. Newly created polynas also release a lot of heat from the ocean into the atmosphere, the consequences of which are unknown at this time. However, according to research scientist Diana Francis, mid-sea polynas are capable of impacting the climate regionally and globally as they modify the oceanic circulation. During the winter, these huge holes are capable of transferring huge amounts of energy between the ocean and the atmosphere. This is why it's crucial for us to identify what triggers its occurrence so that we may also be ready for its effects. Deep Lake of Death Another super salty body of water that can be found in East Antarctica is called the Deep Lake. It's known to be one of the least productive ecosystems that exists on Earth, but it's also one of the most remarkable. Not only is this lake the lowest accessible point in Antarctica, which is 50 meters below sea level, it can also rival the Dead Sea with its extreme saltiness, which only increases with depth. Given its unusual freezing temperature, the deep lake is considered uninhabitable and dangerous for animals to swim in. 
There are many theories about how this intriguing lake was formed, but the prevailing one suggests its formation, along with hundreds of other water forms in the Vestoid Hills, when Antarctica rose above sea level 3,500 years ago. This shift in the ice isolated a part of the ocean in Vestfold's hilly coastal mass, which created inland pockets of seawater, with the deep lake as the largest and most unique. This bizarre lake is also quite beautiful, with its vibrant blue hue providing a stark contrast against the white and brown rocky mass comprising Vestfold Hills, where it's located. This is due to its high salinity, being ten times saltier than the ocean that normally allows the lake to remain completely liquid, despite its waters measuring a frigid negative 20 degrees Celsius. The lake's liquid state also attracts nearby animals, often with deadly results. Its shores are littered with the corpses of penguins and seals, many of which are decades old due to the effective preservation properties of both salt and cold. But while the common creature cannot survive, four species have made this hostile habitat their home. Three of these are called archaea, single-celled organisms that are relatively recent discoveries. These remarkable microscopic creatures are known for their ability to survive in extreme environments, such as acidic hot springs, nuclear waste, and yes, extremely cold and salty lakes. Over the years, expeditions have been made to study the intriguing, albeit limited, ecosystem of the Deep Lake. Scientists hope to discover more insights about the future of evolution and perhaps the existence of life on similar habitats outside our planet. A Tropical Rainforest If you didn't know yet, the frozen desert of West Antarctica was actually a warm region with rainforests and even civilization millions of years ago. Geologists and scientists discovered fossilized flora and fauna under the ice that suggests this frigid place was once home to a warm and thriving ecosystem. These fascinating finds were discovered under the ice near Pine Island Glacier in West Antarctica in 2017. The team of international researchers who spearheaded the expedition were astonished when they dug through a layer of sediment that looked different from the layers above it. The advanced drilling system was able to extract digital data, which then helped reconstruct the tropical rainforest from 100 million years ago. This rainforest was right in the middle of the Cretaceous period, where dinosaurs roamed the Earth and the ancestors of today's mammals reigned over the sea. True enough, fossils of dinosaurs and large aquatic animals were also discovered in the ice. Other interesting finds in this sediment layer were fossilized forewings of a 20 million year old beetle and sperm cells in an egg case of an extinct 50 million year old worm. Future studies of what's underneath these thick layers of ice could lead us to discovery of more species, which in turn could give us more evolutionary information. Average temperatures in West Antarctica during the mid Cretaceous were a much warmer 12 degrees Celsius. This would then rise to an even warmer 19 degrees Celsius in the summer. The seas were a tepid 20 degrees Celsius, which were very much capable of sustaining marine life. This was due to the fact that the atmosphere contained higher amounts of carbon dioxide, which made the entire planet much warmer. These findings further support claims that greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane can cause global temperatures to skyrocket. An overabundance in the atmosphere will cause the polar ice caps, including most of Antarctica, to melt, which will once again change life on Earth as we know it. Massive Colony of See-Through Fish Weddell Sea isn't just the site of the world's largest ice hole. 500 meters below the ice exists the largest known colony of fish known to man, and to top it off, the fish responsible is a rare species notable for being see-through. Say hello to Jonah's Ice Fish. Ice fish are translucent due to their see-through skulls and the lack of red blood cells in their body. This transparent blood also contains anti-freezing compounds which allows them to survive in frigid temperatures. These physical adaptations to extreme cold allow them to build their nests on the Antarctic sea floor. Marine biologists from Germany spotted off the gigantic colony in February 2021 while on a research trip. The team was on a ship surveying the sea floor when their cameras kept encountering ice fish nests, previously thought to have been in smaller numbers. For four hours, the camera kept capturing the same nests, covering a total of four square miles of sea floor. Succeeding expeditions discovered the true size of this breeding ground. 60 million Jonah's ice fish nests compose of 1,500 to 2,000 eggs each, spanning 92 square miles. The chosen location for this impressive nest network appears to be in good access to plankton, which is a food source for the ice fish. Some zones within the area were also reported to have warmer temperatures, which could act as a beacon for other fish to locate the breeding grounds. This is also a double-edged sword, as Weddell seals have been spotted diving in the warmer waters above the fish colony, giving this carnivorous mammal a major source of food. Before this discovery, not much was known about the ice fish, with previously discovered nests only numbering in the dozens. But this show of force gave scientists much-needed data to learn more about this interesting sea creature, such as its substantial role in the Antarctic ecosystem. Ancient Meteor Explosion 
Tiny space rocks recovered in eastern Antarctica are painting a picture of a large meteor that bust apart in the sky over the continent 430,000 years ago. The resulting explosion created a plume of flame, pelting the area a thousand miles wide with melted extraterrestrial debris. Seventeen of these particles, ranging from 0.1 millimeter to 0.3 millimeter across, were collected from the summit of one of the local mountains that's 2,800 meters above sea level. Their nickel and magnesium rich chemistry suggests that they may be part of a type of meteorite known as carbonaceous chondrite, a primitive rock that may be older than the Earth itself. The particles, along with similar ones in the other parts of Antarctica, were discovered in ice cores that were 430,000 years old. The meteor that exploded over the continent was estimated to be between 100 to 150 meters across and probably did so at low altitude. While this airburst did not leave a crater, it nevertheless caused extreme danger, including the possible destruction of 100,000 square kilometers of Antarctic ice sheet. The surface temperature would have been a searing 5,000 degrees Celsius, which would have melted significant amounts of ice. Had this airburst occurred over a densely populated city, casualties would number in the millions, and hundreds of kilometers of structures would be instantly raised in the resulting inferno. Gambustev Mountain Range The unexplored continent of Antarctica is shrouded in many mysteries, many of them hidden beneath its frigid ice sheets. Arguably, the biggest and most impressive discovery underneath the icy mass is the massive Gumberstev Mountain Range. Located under a few thousand kilometers of thick ice, this mountain range sprawls across a 1,200-meter distance with a maximum height of 3,000 meters. Mind you, that's about a third the height of the world's tallest peak, Mount Everest. The mountain range was discovered more than 60 years ago by a Soviet expedition mapping terrain underneath the icy surface. After mostly flat seismic readings, the team was astonished to discover what appeared to be a huge rolling mountain range hidden away beneath the ice. For years, this discovery puzzled researchers as no one could determine how this giant landmass was created. It was also impossible to collect actual rock samples due to its location far below the ice. Fifty years later, advancements in radar and imaging technology were finally able to determine how this mountainous wonder was formed. There was a series of crashing and rifting of continental plates, and the activity of thick continental roots formed the mountain range, and the formation of the thick Antarctic ice sheet preserved the entire formation. This is how it managed to stay pristine and erosion-free since its initial creation one billion years ago. See you all next time!